All right, ladies and gentlemen, got something through the mail today. And it's kind of heavy. It's kind of big. So let's open it up and see what it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with another end goes to it. Be careful with because you have the way they did it, they rolled it over, rolled it over, rolled it over. My goodness, how many rolls of rolls do we need? There's the handle, hold the handle stuck enough on. Pick it up, all right, move all this side away. There it is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. All right. What is it? Look how good shape it is. Oh, this is the bottom. If you can tell the color, it's in green. Now let's flip it over. That's the sides. That's the other side. That's the hinge where it opens up, no doubt. I don't know if this comes with a key, but I'd like to get a key for it because it does lock. Nothing in there. I'll let you know what that is. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dun, da, 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 da. That's far as it goes. I thought I went higher than that. I guess that's it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in case you're wondering, what this contraction is. Let me get one of my old record albums at. Like this I got right here, if you can read it. I wrote this on my own here. This is a complete box collection of Perry Como 78 RPM records. Retro 12 record set. And what it is, it takes old records like this made out of shellac. These are breakable records. You can't drop them. And that's what this is. This is a phonograph back in the early 20s, way back. Some of these were probably built back maybe uh, sometime during or after 1900s. It's hard to say. So we're to, I can always look it up. But what's nice about this particular um, system is it has a record tray. Because since it's portable and it has a handle, you could take it with you wherever you went back in those days. Out to picnics and outings and stuff. And this right here lets you hold up to... This is a record tray. It just comes out like that. It's got felt protection all it and all. And what you could do is you can carry not one not two, not three. I'm going to say how much you can carry. Not four, not five, 
Not six. Oh, wow, ladies and gentlemen. And carries more than six. <laughs> Not seven. Not eight. Getting close, ladies and gentlemen. I believe it can carry up to 10. You can see where the felt kind of ends right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right up here is the felt. It could probably carry, let's see. It could probably carry one more, but that had to be out about it. Up to 11. Well, I got 12 in here, so it's really 10. It can carry up to 10 records, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I like about this. And when you get ready to play your first record, you just take this off to the side, set it right there, and uh, there's the main felt. And uh, now this pin could come out, and I could lock that tray down before putting the record so it won't move around. But that's why I got this particular old unit, because it came with, uh, yeah, the record tray. I think that is so awesome. Now, let me get around here and show you the, the neat stuff that comes with it. I'm going to do my trusty knife. There it is. You have to pack it just in, in a different area. And for power, like I said, this is back probably before electricity or just before electricity is crank driven so and the crank's supposed to stay uh something like uh let's see how how you position it in here it locks in like that that's where that goes and of course You might be thinking, how do you play music? Don't look like there's anything on the end of this, end of this horn. So how does it play? Dick's gonna show you. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you'd probably call the reproducer or also known as the sound box. Looks real nice. It's nice and shiny. On the back here. This is where the needle goes in right there. This is at that echo. And to set it up, see the two notches right there line up with these notches. You just Kind of like feel for it. Don't force anything. Slide it on there. And see? It stays on there and locks. And then when you're ready to put it away, it stays like that. And there's the opening down here where the voice goes through. It channels through here. It goes on to this opening hole here, which we call the opening speaker. And that's how that works. Okay. But you don't leave the needle down here and mess up your felt. So what you do is when you get through playing the record, over here, that locks it in place. And you don't touch the bottom of the speaker. As you can see, the sound box down. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's real nice. And let's see. I don't know if I can show a light or not to it. That whole opening right there is where the sound comes out. If I move the arm out of the way, hey, uh, the whole area is where the sound comes out. Now, today's people might under, might try to figure out well, where's the volume control? Where's the uh, you don't have any of that. Like I said, these are early models before electricity, and after you cranked it up. 
you hit the switch over here, this is the brake. You release the brake, and that causes this turntable to move freely. When you want to start the album, you just put the brake on. Over here is your speed control at 78. You can go faster if you want to, or slower if you want to than 78 speed. But that's where you keep it right there, is the right speed. But this, I think it says it's either been redone, furbished, or whatever. Right here, when I get some, is a tin box of uh, needles. The whole box will just slide in there and lock in place for you to carry. And of course, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's RCA. Let's see if I can zoom up here for you. And if you can read that, it says his master's voice. That's the picture of the dog and the old photograph that we all do for so long. It's been on every record album. And that's all this is totally I think you try to tell me that it's all been redone. So, I don't have any needles. I don't think he sent me any needles. So that's the only thing I'm going to have to figure out is where to find some needles. Because normally, they would be in here. But I don't see any needles. So I'm going to have to order me some needles, it looks like. But that's all right. That's the whole system right there. And when you get ready to go take your records with you, like I just had it in here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but see these notches on the side, I'm shining a light too. If I can get the light to work on me, it's not want to get bright. There we go. If you can see that notch right there, that keeps it hitting that tab right there so these can't go any further i was wondering what these metal i guess that's what it's for keep them from hitting same thing over here so you can carry them around and it's just not going to go anywhere so that's a nice invention there they thought of all right but there it is i'm going to try it out for you real quick hope this video won't be too lengthy but I'm going to make sure everything works okay. So I'm going to take a record out. Well, I don't want two. I just want one record out. Wait a minute. I don't have a needle, though. I just thought about that. Well, anyway, I'm going to try to start it up for you see what they did back in the day. What they did, they put the crank in. Get this out of the way. And they start cranking it just like that just slowly enough to you got to make sure the brakes on or this thing's going to take off ah oh, it should be good enough take it out and act like you got a needle on here and when you get ready to play your record you just put the you start up first you start at the speed if you can see it turning i hope you can And then you just go ahead and bring this around. <laughs> just gonna make it sound like it's. Sounds scratchy at the end, but you get the idea. That's what you're supposed to do. And then we get through playing the record. Just put that over there. And hit the brake. And that stops it. Now when I get the needles in, I'll show you how to how it sounds and everything. But until then, I'm afraid that's it for right now. I try to get some needles for it. But I hope you enjoyed the I guess as far as I'm gonna be able to zoom out.
the uh, phonograph back in the day before electricity. This is the MV, no, HMV. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, don't got the, uh, let's see what it says here. I think it's, uh, la, 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 la. I don't know if it's the 101 or the 102 model, but somewhere it should say it. I have to look at the invoice. But as you can tell, if you've got a collector of these classic um, uh, gramophones, is what they're called back then, phonograph, then these are usually models that comes out back then, which was a, a HMV 101 or 102 model, because this model looks like it could be either one of those. But anyway, and I'm sure it is, but I can't remember if I got the 101 or the 102, because I think they're both are, uh, similar, pretty much. With the features I just showed you. But it's either been redone or they never hardly have used it. As you can see, the hinges are all shiny. The uh the the, the um the um handle is either original or if it's not original, I don't care. I don't care about that stuff. I'd like for it to be original, but if it ain't, you know what? If it's been redone, I'm just glad it's redone. But that's the way everything goes when you're not using it. And uh, I'll have to get me some, uh, uh, you know. But there you go. That's it. The handy dandy, you guessed it. Do I go anywhere back in the day during the early Roaring Twenties phonograph without power when you didn't have electricity? It's not fully electric at all. And if you think about it, it's a pretty good idea, invention back then. You can take your own records wherever you wanted to go back then. All right. All right. But I'll have another video, video when I get my needles in and I'll play you some Perry Como and I got some other uh, uh, 78 records and stuff of uh, female recordings and stuff like that. And uh, like Joan St uh, uh, Stoffer, Stafford and a few others and stuff like that. All right. So then, toodles.